Hello and welcome to OAP Gaming and Unicorn Overlord. I hope you'll enjoy this playthrough. I'm going to keep my commentary to a minimum because I've come to realise I'm not very good at it. <laughs> so let's crack on. of Cornea's lords has forsaken us in favor of the traitor Valmor. No refuge remains for a crowned fugitive. Yet the general seeks my death and mine alone. I shall not flee from that fate. Though you still can, a soul rider with Elaine at your side. Take him, Joseph. Raise that delicate seedling into a sturdy tree capable of weathering the harsh climbs that await. And pray safeguard the ring of the unicorn as well. Hold it close to you until Elaine is a man grown. He will have need of the power it bears. My queen, I... Mother? Are they coming for us? Heed well these words, Elaine. I say this not as your mother, but as your queen. From here forth, you're to treat Joseph's command as though it were spoken directly with my tongue. Do you understand? Of course, but is there something amiss? My faith and more lies with you, Joseph. I only pray it is enough. Farewell, and may the heavens guide you. Standing there, Joseph. Aren't you going to help her? Would that I were able, my prince. Come, we've not a minute to spare. Destiny awaits. Make haste. Your 
shield. We shall see our duty through. Does this suit you? I never How miss. This? Cornea shall never cave. Enlighten me, Valmor. To what end do you seek to usurp my throne? Self-centered fool. It's not merely your throne I aspire towards. It's all of them. Zenoira are the rightful sovereigns of Feverith, and I... The blade to restore our world to its natural order. You seek to plunge the continent into war? <laughs> Fevrith need not suffer your delusions. A proper ruler demands unity, not pointless politicking with insufferable neighbors. Now, I shall achieve that unity through conquest and reclaim that which is rightfully mine. I would sooner see you slain by my hand! <laughs> just begins. We stand now at a new dawn for Fevrith, one which will see Zenoira's dominion restored at last. Curious, though, that we've no trace of the old knight's captain. About that, my lord, a lone cavalry unit was spotted riding through the eastern gate before it was barred. And the boy is lost to us. A truth obscured only by his mother's futile attempt at a counter-offensive. It would seem I underestimated her penchant for deception. Year 895 of the Hollowed Chronicle. Claiming himself a scion of the fallen Sonoiran Empire. Cornea's once decorated General Valmor rebelled against his erstwhile home at the seat of its monarchy, 
Grand Corin. It's Queen Alenia, bold in the face of this staggering betrayal, stood unshrinking as the shield to her son Elaine's safe flight, and mustering what meager forces remain by her side. She rallied a defense as valorous as it was damned. With Cornea's queen lost, care of the young prince fell to her faithful knight, Joseph, who took wing beyond Valmor's wretched grasp to asylum on the forded isle of Palavia in the holy kingdom of Albion. And boastfully proclaiming himself Fevrith's new emperor, Valmor donned a second name, Calarius, and began a relentless onslaught the continent's nations could only but struggle against. Yet each realm's endeavors fell in vain time and again, and ere long Zenoira's vile dominion was realized. His blood-soaked unification come to bear, Few dared stand against the ironclad fist of Emperor Galerius. Embers of resistance burned on, yet the downtrodden could cling only to furtive hopes of liberation. Desperate prayers which fell upon deaf ears night after unceasing night. Ten years have passed since the Shroud of War first set over Cornea. Uh, I wonder if those two are at it again. Well, that takes care of the altar. I suppose I should be getting back. Sorry, Elaine, but this round's mine. Ah, you always were the optimist. Damn it. You got a good hit in, I'll give you that. There's just no stopping you these days. Yet you've grown no less than I have. Still, we could likely train for the rest of our lives and even then, never manage to best Joseph. Weird to think he's back on the mainland now. Finally making that Liberation Army thing a reality, huh? Guess that means we'll be going up against Anoira soon. Indeed it does. The people of Cornea are suffering, Lex. Crying out for whatever help will hear their pleas. Should I turn a deaf ear to those voices, I would have little and less claim to the crown I feel is mine. That, and I owe it to my mother to see them safe. Well, yeah, but... Zenoira's got the whole world in the palm of their hand. How are we gonna fight back against that? The Earth may be theirs, but the heavens will surely favor those who stand for justice. You got a point there. Sorry for not sounding all too confident. Just... make sure you don't take it all on yourself. I'll be with you every step of the way. Thank you, Lex. You know I can't do this without you. Oh, stop. You're gonna make me blush. <laughs> anyway, that's enough training for today. We're gonna miss lunch if we don't get moving. I suppose it is that time. Hmm? You see something out there? It's... a ship. Looks like they're flying Zenoira colors, too. This island is no longer safe. We have to tell the others. With you there. You head for the cathedral. I'll make sure the town knows what's coming.
Seal off the harbor, and do it quick! Not a soul gets off this island under our watch! All soldiers have alighted, sir! Dispatch the vanguard to the cathedral. And remember, we're to apprehend the target alive. Understood, sir! O oh, Heavenly Father, ruler of land and sky above, we pray this day for deliverance from evil. Grant us the meager sustenance to nourish our fragile bodies in the times to come. Guide our lost souls on the path to salvation. Shine down your radiant light upon us, for darkness looms thick through all corners of Febrith. Such is my request as your humble servant. In the name of the Guardian Unicorn, and that of the Holy Mother. Is that you, Elaine? How many times must I ask you not to stomp around in the cathedral? <sighs> what is the meaning of this? Well, look what we've got here. Seems we're the first to show. Rough her up if you want, but don't forget. The girl dies, and our heads will roll, too. Such depravity will not go unpunished. Not in the house of the Heavenly Father. Yeah? Then you best get to praying. <laughs> She's fast. Not as fast as us. <laughs> what the? <sighs> Scarlet, are you hurt? Only a little shaken. That's all. What's happening to us, Elaine? A ship has come ashore on Palavian soil. One hoisting the banner of the Zenoiran army. And... are they aware that you're the Crown Prince? I can't say for certain, but we know one thing. These people are our enemy, and they must be stopped. Yes. My cathedral will see no more bloodshed this day. Come, let's move outside. Your Highness, it's a relief to see you unharmed. Hold on. Where's Lex? He went ahead to alert the town. We best find him and get to the harbor. Indeed. But first, my prince, this belongs to you. A ring. The Ring of the Unicorn. Queen Elenia wished for you to have it. In truth, I had intended to wait till signs of age played more deeply cross your face. But we no longer have such luxury. I have the utmost faith you'll see it secured. A keepsake from my mother. Thank you for this, Joseph. Truly. Make no further mention of it. Now, let us be off. hours. We march. path is 
set. now. Onward. So I'm going to end this first episode here, I don't want to keep the videos too long, so if you've enjoyed this first video please hit that like button, it really helps this small channel out, 
Leave a comment if you so desire, good, bad or indifferent, I appreciate them all. And even consider subscribing to the channel and hitting that notification bell, so that way you don't miss a single episode. So I hope to see you in the next one. Until then, thank you so much for watching. It really is appreciated.